The Happy Planner fall release is tomorrow. Are you as excited as I am about the new Happy Planner fall release happening tomorrow? Products are releasing at 9 a.m. Pacific time, which is 12 p.m. Eastern time here where I am. I just wanted to make a video because I have not gotten my package yet from the Happy Planner, but I will be getting some product. I wanted to make this ahead of time just in case that doesn't arrive in time, just so I can talk to you about some of the products and show you what I plan to purchase. There is a postal delay, but as soon as I get my box, I am going to film all the videos for you guys. So I will be putting them out as quickly as possible. And hopefully that will be before the release. But if not, I wanted to give you guys a little something anyway. If you go on the Happy Planner website right now, you can see all of the previews of everything. And I just wanted to sort of go on there with you, show you the things that I'm interested in purchasing and just talk about the new products a little bit. I would really appreciate it if you guys would use my affiliate link when you shop. It will be down in the description box. It's in the description box of all my videos. And since this is my full-time job, it is part of what makes up my income. So if you wouldn't mind bookmarking my link and using it when you shop, I'd be really grateful. So thank you for that. So let's go over to my computer. New year, new journey, new adventures. So I'm just going to show you the things that I plan to purchase. Now I might get some of these in my box and if I get the box beforehand, then I have to make a quick decision on what's left over and what I wanna buy. First, I'm gonna talk about planners. I use a classic happy planner for my journal that's a vertical layout. And then I use a big happy planner vertical layout for my main planner. I do also use a teacher layout for work and sometimes I use a dashboard depending so I may end up getting some of those as well but for the most part I'm looking at the verticals here. As you may have guessed my first choice is Cozy Pet Critters. <laughs> I mean come on. This planner looks so cute. I'm torn though because it's not super neutral. There is some color on the regular weekly pages, but look how sweet this is. These animals, the pink, it is so very me. It's like they made it for me. But you can see there's some, you know, stripes in the middle. There's some other things, but let me just show you the dividers. They're so, so cute. Look at that cat and the fish. Oh my gosh. But my favorite divider is this one over here with those frames with the little pets in them. It's just whimsical and totally my vibe, but you can see there's definitely some things I would have to cover up. My second favorite classic size planner that's vertical is the Life's a Party Planner. I think this is adorable, but again, there is definitely color on some of these pages. So I'm going to have to get one of these, you know, ones with the cute designs and then do some Franken planning and put in neutral pages. So I'm going to have to purchase another planner. Look at these dividers. It's so cute, so seasonal, and just totally my vibe. It's very whimsical. I love the lettering and all of the colors. My favorite divider is this one, Have a Grateful Heart. Oh my goodness, I guess that's for November. I love that so much. So obviously there's so many other really cute planners for the fall release. What I would suggest is looking through, you know, the previews on the site, and also there's tons of flip throughs online from some of the Happy Planner squad members that, that did get their boxes. So, you know, you can check those out as well, but I'm just gonna show you a couple of them that I'm considering that are neutral inside and pretty. The first is this Getaway Vibes Planner. The pages are neutral and the dividers are really, really cute. There's the monthly, which is so neutral, but we have that really cute page on the front. It's a travel theme and it has those photos. I just love real photos in my planner for some reason. So let's take a look at these dividers. Some of them have photos, some do not, but I think they're really pretty. We have different places that you can travel to. If you're someone who loves to travel, it has a really cool kind of travel photo vibe that I think you might appreciate. If you're looking for a planner with neutral pages with no color on them, you have quite a few options in the classic size. Surprisingly, this 90s classic happy planner does not have any designs on the pages. I thought it probably would, but it's pretty neutral. 
If you're in your 30s or 40s, you'll probably love this planner. It probably brings back quite a few memories. These dividers are super cute. If you like a more fancy kind of delicate vibe, you're going to want to go for the La Fleur Happy Planner because the dividers are gorgeous. It's got a really cool color palette and totally neutral pages. Another beautiful neutral planner is the Deep Botanicals. It has that super moody vibe. And if you love florals and you love that vibe, I think you're really gonna like this one. Okay, this gold and black happy planner is so glam. That's the word that I think of when I look at this planner, glam. So if you're that kind of person and you love that kind of stuff, I think you're really gonna like this one. It's very neutral, of course, and just has that kind of, I don't know, <laughs> glam. This one really surprised me. Psychedelic florals. Okay, you would think maybe there'd be something going on on these pages, but no, neutral. The dividers are kind of trippy, don't you think? I mean, I don't know. I guess that's the point. Not really my style, but hey, if you were a teenager in the 60s or the 70s, you might like this one. The next neutral planner I'd like to talk about is Painted Patterns. It's probably not going to be one of the most popular ones, but maybe it's an underrated one. We have these pastel colors and just sort of a very calm, like I look at this and think calm vibe. It's a calm, classic, just neutral kind of vibe. And hey, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. And the cover says it's the perfect time to start. So I like that. Okay, tell me if I'm wrong. My thought is if psychedelic florals and painted patterns had a baby, they would name it Happy Plus Mod. Do you agree? They added frosted covers to some of the planners like in that Happy Plans and Notes line that came out last year. I kind of think that's a good idea for a change, right? Anyway, Colorful Safari is super cute. If you're like a leopard print or cheetah print, why can I never ever get that straight? <sighs> You guys have told me so many times in the comments. But anyway, if you're that fan, you will love this. The frosted cover is cool because you can put another picture behind it and just change it up to be whatever you want at any time. Another neutral option is aptly named Neutral Jungle. So I love the dividers in this one. I actually like it better than the last one. It's more my style and the color palette is really, really pretty. Let's take a look at some other options in the classic planners that are just kind of different and interesting. First up, we have a new Disney line and it is The Nightmare Before Christmas. I was so excited when I heard this because I love that movie. I think this is such a fun theme. The discs on this planner in particular are really, really cool. They're like this dark matte gray. I don't know what they call that, but it's really neat. We do have some extra design on this planner, but I will tell you all the Disney ones have that, and that's for a reason, to make it more fun and Disney-like. The dividers are super cute. I love the color palette here. So if you're someone who loves Nightmare Before Christmas, this one might be a good choice for you. This is a dashboard layout, not a vertical. Also, it's worth mentioning that Pixar has come into our Happy Planner lives this fall. The Feels Like Sunshine Happy Planner has a new layout called Stress Management. This is a beautiful planner. The currently page is a little bit different, so we have some more words on here. So if you're someone who doesn't like that, you might not like this one, but it gives you some tips on journaling, exercise, that kind of thing. We also have a priority section. We have some prompts here, so it is very self-care oriented. The weekly pages look different as well. On the top, we have a little checkbox for journaling and exercise, and that's what explains on the currently page. So what this planner is trying to do is help you create good daily habits. The second section is a to-do list section, and then the bottom one is blank for whatever you need. Will you look at these dividers? There's yellow in here and pink, like seriously my two favorite colors. Now I'm going to show you quickly a couple of the big happy planners that I'm considering for my planner for 2023. Please keep in mind that again, I don't know what's coming in my box from the Happy Planner. So my mind may be switched when I see what they sent me because it wouldn't make sense for me to spend more money on a planner unless the planners that they send me are really not for me. My favorite of all the big vertical planners is this Tropical Boho. And of course, that is one that has color on the pages, of course. 
but I still hope that's in my happy planner package. And if so, I'll just get a neutral planner and combine it together because look how cute this is. Some neutral page options for the big vertical happy planner are colorful safari, la fleur, and happy plus mod. Okay, next I wanna talk about the accessories I'm going to buy because I'm saving the sticker books for last. I always do that. First up, we have these gorgeous, gorgeous tortoise discs. These are beautiful, we've never seen this before. They're glossy, they're classy, and I really, really want them. I hope they put them in my box. We have a couple of new snap-in cover options. I really wish they would make them for the big, but these are classic sized, still really cute. I may get one. We have this La Fleur cover, which is really pretty plain, but it has those cute pockets inside. It's that really sweet mint green, which I like. And then we have a gold cover as well. That's more of like a pebbled faux leather option. So both I think are really pretty. So if you're looking for a classic snap-in cover, you know, you might want to get one before they sell out. There's a couple new packs of washi tape. This La Fleur one is really elegant and pretty, I think. I'm considering getting this one. Since I save my planners and they get really full at the end of the year, I can't use classic size discs to keep it together, so I need to buy expander discs. I usually go for the plain black metal discs because they're the most classy, but these are gorgeous. They're black metal in the middle, but they have this gold rim around the outside, so it's two-toned, and I think that's a really cool look, so I can't wait to get these, and I hope they're in my box. Another new product I'm looking at is the two-pack of Journaling Joy Snap-In Stencil Bookmarks. That's really hard to say. Anyway, if you know me, you know I like the Happy Planner Checklist Stencil. I use it all the time. I have a whole bunch of them. This one's really cool because not only do you get the lines that I use all the time, but you also get some other stuff. You have these really cool lines of dots and dashes. You have flags and a habit tracker. The cool thing about stencils is you can use it over and over again, so it will go on forever. Do you know what I mean? Until, you know, one day when you've been planning for 20 years, it's falling apart. But <laughs> it's plastic, so you can snap it into your planner and just use it whenever you need to. I think these are really cool, and they also serve as a bookmark, so I like these. They're really branching out with their disc options. Look at these inky floral discs. They're really, really cool. Now you might have trouble matching them to your pages, but it doesn't really matter because they're just gorgeous and I want them. I just, I, I collect discs, I just want them. There are a lot more new accessories that are really cool, but let's talk stickers. Okay, by far the one I'm most excited for, and this is no surprise, I'm sure you guessed it, Cozy Pet Critters. I can't get over this sticker book. I am so in love with it already, and I can't wait to get it in my hands. Hopefully they sent it to me. I can't imagine they wouldn't, right? So here's what it looks like. Really pretty color palette, lots of pinks. Lots of pinks and blues. I like the addition of the red in here. It just feels really whimsical and fun. Look at those solid boxes over there in those pretty colors. And these illustrations, the pets, it's not just cats and dogs, it's other pets, but come on. How cute can you get? Look at that little white dog. And those birds. And the framed pictures of the quotes and the pets are just really, really cute. Okay, switching vibes completely now. We go to the Fall Harvest sticker book. This one's really fun, but it has a different vibe. It's like kind of more elegant and the illustrations in here are really cute and the colors, they're very fall-like, but there's animals in here. You guys, there's deer and mountains. I love the greens and blues here. It's kind of like a blue gray, which is nice. There's those boots and the floral boxes. This just has such a cool vibe. I really like it for fall. And you know, I love seasonal sticker books. We even have a Halloween page in here, which is nice, and a Thanksgiving page. And then lots of florals, more deer. Totally fun, right? Totally fun. We have a lot of fall quotes and then clothing. There's something about putting clothing in my planner. I don't know. I really like it. 
If you're trying to save money and don't want to commit to buying a whole sticker book of fall, you can always get the five sheet harvest sticker pack and you're gonna get a taste of that, but it's definitely gonna be less expensive at $6.99 compared to the price of the value pack sticker book. A lot of seasonal options. Essential Seasons is perfect. If you're someone who can't afford to buy a lot of sticker books, you can buy one sticker book with all the seasons. I always say this is great for beginners, but this one is so cute. I feel like we're getting back to sort of the old school happy planner style and I love it. I'm just here for it. We go from winter, look at that penguin <laughs> and the cups. And then we go to spring with those gorgeous florals. Gorgeous. I love the spring color palette. And then we're into bright colors for summer. How fun is that? Goes right into fall with another really appropriate color palette. And then back to winter again. Look at that little snow globe. So cute. The sticker book we did not think we needed, but now we do, is Essential Holidays. This one is pretty much a different page for each holiday in the year. I love that they included non-traditional holidays. They also included things like Lunar New Year and Earth Day and Pride Day. I guess this is Kindness Day here and World Mental Health Day probably, but they're very inclusive, which I love. And I just think it's fun that each page is a different holiday. And it's a sticker book you can reach for when... You know you need a specific sticker, like say birthday stickers, but you can't find them anywhere. You can just reach for the sticker book and pull out one of these. I think it's perfect. If you're looking for something a little more sophisticated, you might consider La Fleur. We saw the planner and this is similar. These florals and the butterflies, all of it is beautiful. And I really like that it's such a specific color palette. Speaking of sophisticated, the Deep Botanical sticker pack is gorgeous. We have a lot of florals in here and these really pretty leaves, but there's so much black in here. It's very moody. So if you're someone who likes that kind of style, you're going to love this sticker book. I'm excited about this one because it's just so different from other sticker books that we've seen from the Happy Planner because of all the black in here. If you like the Nightmare Before Christmas, you might want to consider the sticker book storage bundle. I love the sticker book because the stickers are really large and they're so cute. I love this so much, but also you're going to get this sticker storage box, which I love these. I have tons and tons of them and this one is so cute. Like I said before, we also have a new Pixar line and this sticker book is called Bright Year. We have a lot of different movies featured in here, including The Incredibles, Finding Nemo, Toy Story, Monsters Inc, Up, and Wally. -E. Do you guys remember the Student Icon sticker book and the Tiny sticker book? This Essential Icons kind of reminds me of that, but this one seems more fun. So we have a lot of different icon stickers in here. They're very small. I love having these kind of sticker books to pull from when I'm kind of stuck and I have a little bit of white space, but I don't know what to put there. So these are great. There's all sorts of really cute stickers in here. Look at those records at the top. Remember that feels like sunshine planner? Well, they have a sticker book to match. And this is so me because it's very self-care oriented. There's a lot of stickers in here about gratitude and wellness. And I think it's going to be perfect for my journal. There's a lot of journaling prompt stickers in here, which is nice to just be able to pull those out when you don't know what to write in your journal, right? There's also a lot of fun quotes and quotes that mean something like, always believe you can. And my favorite, it's okay to do what's best for you. The Tropical Boho sticker book is such a cute theme and has a wonderful color palette in my opinion. It has these jewel tone colors, animals, and yes, even birds with a whole tropical vibe. We even have tropical leaves in here, which is my favorite. I think this one is really cute and it might even go with the Out for Adventure sticker book if you want to combine those to make a spread. I don't know. I love the large size sticker books and there are a few in this release, including Jewel Tone Jungle. There's also a separate value pack for the Jewel Tone Jungle and it's going to go with that Tropical Boho book as well, I think. But just look at these leopards or cheetahs or whatever. 
the 90s sticker book is so fun. It is so fun. It's a mini size, but do not let that fool you. You can put these stickers in any size planner. There's these really cool abstract illustrations and just really fun stickers to make a super punchy and retro spread. The Happy Planner is collaborating with some artists in this release, and this sticker book is a collaboration with Creative Ingrid. I think this one's really pretty. It has such a pretty color palette. There's very bright colors in here and just so many florals in all sorts of sizes and colors. It's been a hot minute since we've had a food sticker book and let me tell you, this one's my favorite. Do you know why? It's because the food has faces. Now, if that creeps you out, I can totally get it, but I think it's the cutest food I've ever seen in my life. The designers really did a good job on this one and I cannot wait to put little hamburgers and avocados and strawberries and watermelon and stuff like that in my planner that has a face. I don't know if it's a popular opinion or not, but I'm really excited for this sticker book. I really only name animals, so I don't think I'm going to name the food. I mean, no promises. Okay, wow, this video took so much longer than I thought, <laughs> hours and hours and hours, but I hope this was helpful for you. And like I said, as soon as I get my box from the Happy Planner, I will definitely be sharing everything I received and trying to do as many flip throughs as possible before the release tomorrow. Remember, 9 a.m. Pacific time, I will put my affiliate link in the description box and thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you're most excited about with this release. All right, see ya.